Hey, I'm on a little uh, mission to make sure everybody's got their D blues scale down. Uh, this is uh, from a Guitar Pro 8, or is it 7, uh, thing I wrote out yesterday. I call it D blues scale, August 30th, 2023. I can send you the PDF of this tablature, but this is the first line. The first four measures is kind of a repeating, simple drill I've always liked to do. It's So that repeating is pretty fun. Uh, these are all eighth notes. It's four measures of the same uh, phrase. So that's like a 10, 13, 10, 13. Then 10, 13, 10, 13. That doesn't mean much if you don't hit the right string. So it's first string. 10, 13, 10. Second string, 13. First string, 10. Then 13, 10, 13. On the second string, that was. So I'm going to play along with uh, this little drum machine beat. What am I at for? 103 for tempo. I'm going to go. Could land on that D. Cool. The second line of my PDF is another repeating bit of business. It's really similar. Uh, more tens and thirteens. It starts on second string, first string, second string, first string. The notes are A, C, D, C, D, F, D, C, A, C, D, C, D, F, D, C. I'll play along with the drum machine again. Just because it's fun. Here I go. Pretty simple. Uh, the third line of my PDF is Let's try that. <laughs> I like it. So that's more 13s and tens, but I get into uh, the uh, third string here. So that's first string 13 10, second string 13 10. That's uh, F D C A, then the phrase is 10 13 10 13. That's the third string, that's the uh, G sharp. So that first measure, I love that weird note. And the next measure is 10, 13, 10, 13, 10, 13, 12, 10, which doesn't make any sense until you hear it. It's like a sequenced lick.
That's A, C, A, G sharp, A, G sharp, G, F. And the fourth, or the third measure is uh, 12, 12, 12, 10, 12, which I like to end phrases like that. Fourth string, 12, 12, 12, 10, 12. That's D, 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 C, D. So that whole lick, let's try it with the uh, drum machine. And the next measure, it goes lower in the scale. Twelve, ten, twelve, ten, twelve, eleven, ten, thirteen, ten. That's D, C, A, C, A, G sharp, G, F, D. I'll try that with the beat. Just repeat, 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 and then after that, do some repetition. <laughs> How about this? You probably know these scales, but it's good to review. This is D, F, 10, 13 on the big string. Fifth string is uh, 10, 11, 12. That's G, G sharp, A. Fourth string is 10, 12, which is C, D. Third string F, G, G sharp, that's 10, 12, 13. And uh, second string is 10, 13, or uh, as you remember, that is A, C. And first string, D, F, D. That's just your basic uh, blues scale that's shaped kind of like a D chord up here. And then let's just close with a chord. This is the D7 sharp 9. Which is, yeah, D7 sharp 9 is a D, F sharp, uh, C, and G. That's a 5, 4, 3, 6. Cool shape. It's kind of freaky. It's not like a major seven, which is kind of like fuzzy wuzzy was a bear kind of chord. This is more like bad acid trip chord in a lightning storm or a tornado. Hellish nightmarish chord, which is kind of freaky, man. If you put it into the in with the scale, it's cool. Let's do the whole scale there. Here's the scale, like a... And the chord. So if you, if you use the notes of the chord in a weird pattern, it's kind of cool. You can make a phrase out of the notes in the chord. Oops. So take the time to play the notes of a chord one at a time and study them carefully. Take notes of their names, 
the sounds, the shapes, and see if you can turn those chord tones into phrases. Anyway, if you would like a PDF of this, uh, these uh, phrases that I just demonstrated, let me know. I'm playing uh, with this Zoom rhythm track RT123 on uh, preset A06. Tempo was uh, 103, and it's got a D, you know, the 